Well, a life of the school caretaker seems to be never-ending problem with toilets. This one's already had a commission because we need to get a new flush unit for it. And the cleaner reported water leaking from the ceiling downstairs in a cleaning cupboard. Now you can't see very well. I had noticed a damp patch on the floor yesterday, but we had just had uh, guys out unblocking the toilets. I just assumed a bit of water had come out of that waste pipe as it had been done, but so you can't see really. But right over the other far end, I can see the top of the soil pipe looks wet. So. I can also see from here that it's not a case of the um, the water overflowing from the tank. So I can't see where it'd be leaking. Can't see the pipe having come loose, means it's not been interfered with. So maybe a crack in the tank. So I shall whip this panel off and see what the score is. All right, panel removed. Even smaller hole on this one to make it even trickier. All these enclosed toilets are nice until something goes wrong with them. Yeah, I really can't see a great deal more from in here. Yeah, I'll shove you guys down the side to see if it shows anything. Yeah, like that. The top of that waste pipe definitely looked a bit damp earlier, but it looks dry at the moment. See how wet the floor is down there. I shall play that back to me and see if it's anything showing, but there's nothing obvious grabbing my eye. Isolation valve is dry, so that's not leaking. But it could be the waste pipe from the sink, but I did look under there earlier and that was all dry. Yeah, I'll just play that a little bit back to me, see if it's caught anything under there that I can't see from earlier. Everybody. Right, well, whilst investigating that leak on the toilet last night, my phone actually died, but I think what the problem is, is when I was undoing this main unit, I noticed this whole thing, this is the bit that would be connected to the base of your tank, was pretty loose as the whole thing was turning, as I was trying to uncouple that from it. So I think the problem may be this knot was not done up very tight. So I've managed to do it up a little bit without having to get my hands down to hold the knot. So hopefully that will solve the leak. I will find out shortly when I put it together. So I've been down to local plumbers merchants and got two of these CM Optima 50 flush units. As one was faulty already and the other one was playing up. So I'll change both of them. So these cost... £37.60 I think it was for the two so just to show you what you get in the box this is the main unit and with these which is toilet sealed is the first ones I've seen these most toilets I see it always seems to be a 32 millimeter diameter pipe but in this they actually do where you can put a 40 millimeter pipe coming from the bottom of the tank which is what these ones have so it gives you both sizes which is quite handy and as I'm sure you've seen with most of these modern systems, they actually just uh, yeah, a bit fairly one-handed. They just push into place and then that would just twist a fraction to lock into the mechanism down here. So these are handy systems if you keep an out of which one you're fitted to your toilet. If they ever pack up, instead of having to dismantle the toilet system to change the complete thing, as you would have had to done in the old days. It's literally grab this fraction of a turn anti-clockwise, lift it out, buy a new one, pop it back in. No hassle, no pulling the toilet apart. So, very useful. Right, I shall put them together and then I'll find out whether this leak still exists. Hopefully it's not a crack in the bottom of the tank, because if it is, I have no idea how we will get it out, because say with this little gap here there's no way you're going to be able to reach down there get your hand underneath that tank to get a cup holder and up to undo it and even if you did struggle to do that you're certainly not going to get it back on because as soon as you let go of that pipe from the bottom it's just going to fall away so fingers crossed it is not a faulty tank right i'll let you know how it goes so i say with these nice and simple there you see the base bit that's bolted underneath the, the um 
tank so that's where you've got your rubber seal to stop it leaking so in the old days you'd have been looking at taking the whole thing out unscrewing that from the bottom pulling the pipe out and to change in complete unit these days simple case grab the new unit slot it in place twist till you feel it locking and that's it as simple as that child's play for anybody Right everybody, right with these two problem toilets, uh, toilet number one that just needed the new flusher unit fitted, that's fitted and that's working fine now, so that's two out of the three toilets back in action. Now unfortunately with this one, despite the fact of what I noticed when I was taking that flusher unit out, when I was twisting that to take it out yesterday, I noticed that the whole uh, fitting in the bottom of the tank that this clips into was rotating. So obviously when this was originally fitted, somebody hasn't really done that nut up on the underneath of this tank very well. And I can see there's a bit of silicon in the bottom of it as well. So whether they've not fitted the intended rubber and thought silicon would work better, which has maybe failed over time, especially the fact that it was loose and the water I've been getting underneath it. So the problem we now have is I need to be able to get my hand down and underneath that tank to get hold of the big nut that holds the actual fitting in the bottom of the tank out which is pretty well nigh and impossible because this hole is very small I can literally stick my head in there and that's about it it's not even like bloody shoulder wide you can see I know I've pretty spanned my fingers across it and the base of the tank is going to be pretty well all the way down here somewhere so unless you've got arms like a gorilla you just can't do it so I've been dreading for years this day coming, I knew somewhere down the line these toilets were going to cause us a nightmare. So what I'm thinking might work, but I'm thinking probably not if I'm honest. I was thinking maybe undoing the screws along the tank and the uh, water line. Then letting the pipe rotate in the back of the toilet and trying to get the whole thing to just kind of fall over to the right hand side. Would I then maybe be able to reach down and get that nut? It's possible, it'll still be awkward, it might work. The danger with that will be is that pipe you can see right down the bottom that pushes into the back of the toilet. If it dislodges and comes out the back of the toilet, then you're stuffed then, because there's no way you're going to be able to reach down and get that pushed back into the rubber seal in there. So that's a possible, but it'll be tricky. It'd be nice to get away with doing it that way, but I've got my doubts. Option number two, which I think the people who installed this should have done in as when they installed it, just in case this problem ever arised, instead of having that so high, or even that one, if they hadn't, I mean, you've got all this space here that's doing nothing, they could have brought you all the way down to here. All you need to do is get your hand in there, grab that unit, twist it, and pull it out. So why they've done the hole so high, I don't know. They'd have been better off coming down lower and having having this hole dropping down to about here somewhere that would have been made much more sense so what I'm thinking we're maybe going to end up doing is coming down just above the toilet taking the grout out of these two towels and I'm thinking use um, a multi-tool to snip its way through the plasterboard pull that section of two tiles on the plasterboard out then I'll be about the right height to get hold of that nut to be able to undo the fitting and put a fresh um, rubber washer on that to stop the leak. Uh, then when it goes back I'm thinking maybe a, a bit of wood across the inside with some nail nails just pull it to give it something to hold, push back against. And then I should imagine once you fill the, um, the grooves up with a grout that'll probably hold it back in place. But yeah, I think they should have thought it out a little bit better when they've done this. They're working on the, the premise that the only thing that's going to go wrong, which to be fair you would be able to do, is take the flusher unit out, and if the inlet valve was to go as well, then yep, you'd be able to, you'd be able to do that, no problem as well. So, a little bit of a niggle, but one way or another I'm sure we'll, we'll get it out. And the other thing I didn't show on that um, new pack when it comes with this stuff, you obviously get a new a new button with it. And it also had a little bag of um, nuts and washers and things, the sort of thing you'd use with a close coupled toilet system to put the tank back onto the base. 
it's uh, not bad for the price now this particular brand which is Siemp the niggle I've got with these ones which I don't think is a very good design most of the other ones you see are these this tube is just one continuous tube all the way around but on this one you'll see it's two halves that split and you've got these little clips two on that side that hold it together then you've got another three coming up this side now, over time we've changed this will be the fourth one of these we've done what I find with these because of that design the fact you think of these hundreds and thousands of times going up clanging back down once the water stops flowing over time all this vibration these seem to become a little bit brittle and it all starts to become a bit loose I did open one up the ones where this top clip had actually managed to completely pop apart and the top is coming opening up so what tends to happen once that happens because things are supposed to just become a little bit out of alignment out of that outer body is you'll flush it once the bulk of the water's gone and it starts to drop back down again it'll drop so far and then it'll get snagged and it'll jam then you've got the issue of your toilet constantly running water into the bowl because that hasn't quite dropped all the way down so that's what it's been every time with these so I think that is just a little bit of a flaw in the design of these ones the fact these are two separate halves that snap together so just if you're thinking of buying this sort of system I wouldn't go for the C-amp one just purely for that basis I say most of the other ones I've seen that is a continuous solid tube and then obviously the slot all the gubbins into it and seal it together somehow so it wouldn't be my first choice but I do like these new modern systems the way they just a little quarter turn and you take it out no need to dismantle the toilet so even if you've got the old original toilets with the traditional type of siphon that packs up when you're changing it you can replace it with these modern systems and just take the handle off and replace it with a button or you can in the Flowmaster range they do do one with a traditional type of handle if that would work better on the uh, the water tank that you're, you're fitting it to right when we figure this one out somewhere down the line wherever we actually resolve this problem I'll I'll do a little video and let you know how we come come to do it in the end all right catch you later